Afternoon punters, I've just walked a, uh, a full lap of uh, Caulfield. Um, it's going to be a bit of a tricky track report this one because um, there's some counterbalancing factors at play. So I walked on the track over at the 2000 and did a full lap and the, for the first 1000 metres of that walk I was thinking the track was possibly on the better side of a four. And you know just really perfect ground, very even. Then I got around to the um, thousand meter mark where you, you turn onto the side of the track and run in a straight line for 400 odd meters and it felt at least a rating softer so the only way I can explain that possibly is that one that the rain come over last night and it wasn't even so the rain gauge is actually over at the 2000 meter mark near the uh, track managers uh, shed and that there was uh, four and a half mils in that rain gauge it felt to me like the other side of the track, which is quite a distance away, might have had, you know, maybe eight mils or something. So that, that can happen, I suppose. Um, and then as I come into the home straight, it is a bit firmer, somewhere in between, maybe like a, a just on the worst side of a four. Um, the um, shear ratings on the low side, which sort of, um, I was surprised that when I was on that, in that first thousand metres, from the 2000 to the 1000 meter mark but then when i got on the side it started to make sense um i think they will do a little bit of damage to the track there and um that, you know they'll probably start to ease move around a little bit as the day goes on so um but then once you come into the home straight the inside's as good as anywhere so uh, in the home straight it's in terms of lanes and things like that it's fairly marginal there are some tire tracks that are a little bit usable out here but i mean i think it's um it's all pretty marginal and the reality is that uh, as most everyone's aware of the, the huge the big factor tomorrow is going to be the very strong forecast northerly wind which is forecast to be up to 55 kilometers an hour which will be a direct headwind on the side of the track so as they jump from the shoot start races they're, they're straight into the wind and uh, all the jockeys will be looking for cover in those races and from the 1400 and the longer races as they come around that top turn they start to, to feel the effect of that breeze. So they'll be hitting that breeze and the, um, the the part of the track that seems to have more given it at the same time. I mean, obviously, if that strong wind's blowing, it will help dry that, that side of the track out. Um, so it's all a bit of a balancing act, and one thing seems to counterbalance the other. Like, if there was no wind tomorrow, I'd be desperate to be on the on-pace runners, but um, the wind seems almost certain to be there, so suggests that you're probably better off being on the horses racing handy to the speed but if the leaders come back on top of them that can be a problem so I mean it's it's just going to be um, a, a play it by year type of a day really just watch how they go how the jockeys react to that breeze how slow, much they're slowing up on the side you know I still think the best position to be is going to be one by one but only one horse in each race can occupy that spot and the spots around it um, you know, directly behind it and things like that are going to be you know favored to some degree but um, the, 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 the horses that do end up in front as we saw with Lavani last week you're much better off running at a natural tempo if you if the jockeys restrain the horse that's in front they, they're working too hard because they're being restrained and they're hitting the win it's a double whammy and they, those sort of leaders tend to um, you know suffer the biggest penalty so and I would say to the jockeys there that if you do end up in front and you let your horse run naturally, that's going to give them the best opportunity to get the maximum benefit for their next run. Restraining them tends, to, you know, leaves them in a terrible spot for their for their following start. So now when you think about horses like Revolving Door tomorrow, you know, he has the obviously the ability to kick up and lead if he wants to, but he's got an inside draw where you can easily let one or two cross him and sit in the box seat, which will look lovely in the run. But if those ones he's let cross him become roadblocks in front of him in the home straight um, it'll look terribly messy so um, th that's the sort of racing we're going to be dealing with tomorrow it, it appears most likely um, I do think that the fact that once they straighten up the, the ground being a little bit firmer it will allow the on pace runners to just pinch a little bit of a break which might just break the fields open enough to allow those horses racing in behind the pace to get out so um, I mean that's that's speculative but um, yeah, really interesting set of circumstances for racing at Caulfield tomorrow.